so today I was just thinking about how sunny it is, how hot it is, and how I try to use different products based on what the environment is like out there. So I thought I'd do a video on the best uh, daytime face serums for all different skin types. I've got some that are great for oily, acne prone, dry skin. And I try to focus on ones that contain some really good antioxidants uh, and anti-environmental ingredients and perhaps some that help with UV protection, uh, skin protecting and things like that. So first off, can any of you guess what's gonna be first? I have a feeling many of you will, but okay, here it is, Niode Survival Zero. This is one of the best. I mean, it's great for most dry skin, most skin types, including dry, oily, and most acne prone skin types. Contains so many great protecting antioxidants such as superoxide dismutase, uh, tomato, xanthophyll, astaxanthin, which I always say wrong, and pycnogenol. It's a great, great serum for fighting damage, especially on days when it's really UV rays are really high. And uh, pretty much most days in the summer, I use this under my uh, moisturizer and then my sunscreen because it's so great. And then in the winter, when it's not quite as sunny, I go with their Survival 30 as my sunscreen just because of all of those amazing ingredients that help your skin uh, work harder to prevent damage. Okay, next up, I will, uh, I'll link to all these below, the uh, Regimen Labs Vitamin X Serum. Great for most skin types, including acne prone and oily skin. This one contains a lot of damage-fighting antioxidants, such as ascorbic acid, EGCG, epilution galate thing, uh, ferulic acid, resveratrol, and quercetin, which are all great for protecting your skin from environmental damage. Uh, I will link to it below, and uh, fragrance-free as well, and really great product. I think all these are fragrance-free. Uh, yes, they are. Okay, next up, we've got the Bonaboji Milk Thistle Repair Serum, which Interesting, I was reading there's a dog that got poisoned by uh, a mushroom and they were using the milk thistle, I think the same thing we put on her skin, uh, to help treat his liver enzymes and help his liver, liver start to heal. So I thought it was kind of fascinating. Uh, so anyway, this one's great for dry skin, sensitive skin, contains burdock root, uh, obviously contains the milk thistle, also known as silly bum. Uh, we've got Centella Asiatica, great for calming the skin and copper peptide. So I will link to this below. They also have a sunscreen version of this, which I have to try, uh, and I think a moisturizer too, and maybe even a cleanser. Why not? You got the whole line then. Okay, next up, sorry I've been in my pajamas again. <laughs> I don't know. I may never get out of them, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> the Hygie Natural Repair Serum. This one's great for dry, acne-prone, and sensitive skin types. Uh, contains for protecting your skin ginseng, which is just a great, great uh, herbal ingredient, or skincare, or uh, in terms of supplements, uh, panthenol, great for soothing the skin, algae. Algaes are great uh, in products, especially if you're wanting something to help your sunscreen work a little bit better. A lot of algaes, uh, because of how they function in the ocean environments, when they are exposed to UV light, they soak it all up. So it's great to have them in a sunscreen or in a product you apply before a sunscreen. Then we've got ascorbic acid polypeptide and then chamomile, which all work to help your sunscreen protect your skin better. And I love this stuff and I've repurchased it multiple times. Actually, so far, everything I've talked about so far, I've repurchased. So that says something. Okay, next up, I haven't had a chance to repurchase this because I haven't finished it because it's pretty new still. The Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Serum. In my opinion, this one is great for oilier skin types because it has some astringent ingredients in here. Uh, but it also contains green tea extract, which is an amazing skin protecting antioxidant. Again, that ECGC or Epolution Galate thing. And then uh, pine needle extract, which is also known to help protect your skin and fight off free radical damage. So this stuff is wonderful. This whole line is great from Isn't Tree. I, I really, really love the line as a whole. Okay, we got a few left. We've Next up, we've got the Geek and Gorgeous Stressless Serum, which is a really friendly for very sensitive skin types, dry as well as acne prone skin types. Uh, the two main ingredients in here are beta-glucan. Beta-glucan is a great uh, humectant as well as skin-soothing ingredient and antioxidant. And then you've got, also got the side, which is a uh, Centella Asiatica component, uh, which has been shown to inhibit UV-induced melanin. Uh, so it's really great. And uh, 
the nice thing about that Mana Case side is even when you, if you use it in conjunction with the vitamin C serum, it works even better to help protect your skin. So perhaps uh, use this with your vitamin C or whatever you want to do. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there because it's there's studies that show that. Okay, next up, we've got the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. Great for skin, dry skin types. It's really wonderful. It's got a lot of nice ferments and some of these ferments don't totally have a whole ton of research on them as they're still kind of a, in terms of skincare, a pretty new ingredient, but uh, the Bifida Ferment, which is pretty high up the ingredient list, is uh, some studies are showing it's great for protecting from UV damage and also repairing UV damage as well as DNA damage. Also contains the great antioxidants, green tea, as well as vitamin E. So this stuff is really wonderful. The essence of it is great. The mist uh, contains fragrance. So I think they have three things in this line. Uh, the essence, wonderful. The serum, wonderful. The mist, it's a pass for me. But anyway. Okay, next up we've got the B-Lab Matcha Hydrating Clear Ampule, which is a pretty new product I've been playing around with. Uh, it seems to be geared towards oily as well as acne prone skin types. Contains green tea extract, obviously a great antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Also contains uh, an ingredient called sea buckthorn extract, which is a great antioxidant. It's also a rich source of vitamin C. So sea buckthorn you'll see sometimes in a lot of uh, K-Beauty vitamin C type products and skin brightening products. Uh, and then also oat kernel extract, which is another good ingredient for protecting as well as soothing your skin. And then one runner-up, which is just a runner-up because it's kind of a one-note product, but I still want to mention it. It's the Ordinary Pycnogenol Serum, which is very small but very powerful. Uh, Pycnogenol is an amazing ingredient. I love seeing it in sunscreens, like Isn't Tree you can uses this in uh, their watery sun gel. It just helps your skin fight off damage. The texture of this is a little oily and greasy, so I actually prefer to use this at night, which probably doesn't make the most sense, but it's what I do. Or you can mix a drop in with something else that way too. So we're checking out. So anyway, I think these are my favorites for uh, fighting off UV damage or just great daytime serums. Great all around serums. You can't go wrong with any of them. Uh, so anyway, while we're checking out, uh, interested if there's anything I missed that you guys love for your daytime serums, uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and I will see you more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.